He's a, Canelo's a solid fighter, taking nothing away from him. But if he's the champion that some want him to be, you Canelo fans that are always in my comment section, then he's supposed to knock out a 40-year-old Golovkin tonight, and he didn't. Words from the legendary Teddy Atlas. And that is just one of the many people giving negative backlash to Canelo Alvarez based on this recent fight. Peace. This is Wise, Wise Words Media. And Canelo, you were right. You nailed it, my friend. If you missed it, last week, Canelo, prior to the fight, he said he's in a position where he's going to get ridiculed regardless. If he loses the fight, people are going to be happy. They're going to celebrate. But if he wins the fight, people are going to say, oh, you beat a, a, an old man. You know, he was past his prime. It wasn't impressive. Canelo, you're absolutely right. And the only reason he would say that is because there's a part of him deep down inside that knows that's the truth. And he wanted to, he wanted to kind of like, take some of the impact off of the backlash when it comes, like saying, oh, I already know what's going to happen. But you know what's going to happen because it was the truth, and it's nobody's fault but your own. You see, Canelo, back in 2018, right after the second fight, as I revealed to y'all a couple months ago, the article's there. It's on Bleacher Report if you want to look it up. In 2018, Canelo said, I'm no longer interested in any fight with Golovkin anymore. I won this fight and he no longer presents a challenge to me unless it's business. So you fast forward four years later when Golovkin is now four years older. Now Golovkin suddenly presents a challenge when he's four years older. And look at the timing of this challenge. Because he lost to Dimitri Bivol and he didn't have confidence in himself that he could beat him in an immediate rematch. Just like guys like Muhammad Ali had confidence that he could come back in an immediate rematch and win. Sugar Ray Leonard against Duran had confidence that he could come back in an immediate rematch and win. He didn't have that type of confidence. So what he ended up doing was he said... Oh, yeah, that business plan, Golovkin. He avoided Golovkin prior to the first fight. Golovkin was already old in the first fight. This is what people were not understanding. Golovkin was old in the first fight, but he was already, he still had a bit of his prime left. But he was, you know, Canelo avoided him. Canelo drop the middleweight title in order to avoid a fight with Golovkin and instead take on guys like Amir Khan and Liam Smith and Chavez Jr. He did that when Golovkin still was Golovkin when he was like in his early 30s. But he took this fight, the first fight with Golovkin when Golovkin was in his mid-30s already. Then he waits four years later. He didn't want the fight with Golovkin so bad that DeZone and Canelo had to go to court and settle because DeZone told Triple G, if you sign to us, we're going to guarantee you a Canelo fight. And then Canelo turned around and said, I never said that. I never said I'm going to give him a, a, a third fight. I never said that. So Canelo and the zone ended up having to go to court. Or maybe they settled out of court, but they were about to do court proceedings, or they did go to court, in fact. One or the other. But it got to that point. That's how much Canelo did not want to fight Triple G a few years ago. Coming off the heels of the second fight. But now all of a sudden, when he's four years older, and now all of a sudden, because you're lined up, and the world is staring at you like, yo, you just lost. You just, you didn't just lose. You got demolished, destroyed by Bivol. What are you going to do next? Are you going to take like all great champions that took an L? You're going to come back and you're going to avenge your loss? 
or you're going to do something else. And instead, he went to that business plan that he mentioned four years ago, which is an older Golovkin. So, you know, Canelo even faded towards the end of this fight. Like, and then that's why Golovkin had his best rounds because Canelo wasn't throwing anymore. So Golovkin started to get busy. So this is the type of guy that he is in major, major trouble. And he's the type of guy that at an early age may retire. I'm telling you now, Canelo may retire very soon. Greats like Floyd Mayweather damn near lasted till 40 years old. Look at Golovkin. Golovkin gave it all he had. But father time is father time till like 40 years old. But Canelo, I'm telling you, boxers are still in their prime until about like 35-ish. You might see him retire before 35. Because like I told you before, the walls are closing in on Young Cinnamon. And they're closing. Dave, David Benavidez Sr., father of the Mexican monster, Jose Benavidez. He said after the fight, based on Canelo's performance, he said this is the reason Canelo does not want to fight David. He said because David is 25. He's not 40. David is young. He's 25. He's stronger and faster. And that he guaranteed us that if David got into the ring, if David Benavidez gets into the ring with Canelo, Benavidez knocks out Canelo in seven rounds. He said, based on the performance he saw. And I told people, you know, I, I you know, people I was talking to prior to the fight, Canelo, some didn't know, Canelo dropped 10 pounds in one day. Leading to the fight, the week of the fight, on Monday, Canelo had a sweatsuit on and he dropped 10 pounds. Why are you dropping 10 pounds the week of a fight? 10 pounds. So, you know, it, it shows that, and it showed in the ring. His conditioning was not there. And if he gets into the ring with a guy like Charlo, if he gets into the ring... That's that, you know, Charlo is conditioned to go the distance. You go into the ring with a guy like Benavidez that throws punches and bunches and is conditioned to go the distance. You go with a pseudo Ramirez that the moment those hands start going down, that's when those hands are going to start going off from pseudo. He gets in the ring with a pseudo. He knows this. Canelo knows this. And this is why when it... If you didn't see it, go check out on Fight Hype. After the fight, in the press fight interview, they asked Canelo about David Benavidez, about Surdo, and Canelo goes on to say, why are you guys talking to me about David Benavidez? He, he only, only thing he ever accomplished was he beat one champion, and that's Anthony Durrell. And then he went back and double down on this, oh, I don't fight Mexicans. I represent my country. I don't fight Mexicans. Well, guess what, Canelo? To the David Benavidez point, David Benavidez may have beaten one big champion, which is um, Anthony Durrell. However, how many big champions did Avni Yadiram beat? How many big-time champions did Avni Yadiram beat? Avni Yadiram didn't beat any big-time champions. At least Benavidez got one. What has Avni Yadiram done? How many big-time champions did Caleb Smith beat? Where, where are their big-time champions and accomplishments that they beat? So, that excuse, garbage. Then the Mexican excuse, oh, I don't fight Mexican because, you know, I, I'm Mexican. Okay, so you know what? Let's tell Vegas to cancel Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence because in boxing what we do is that countrymen don't fight each other anymore. So Spence American, Crawford American, let's just cancel it because they're both American. They shouldn't fight anybody anymore according to Canelo's logic. 
So it makes no sense. It's so it, it, it's such a silly scapegoat that even Sudo Ramirez again attacked it. And Sudo Ramirez said again just after this fight with with Golovkin, he said. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Everybody knows when two Mexicans get together, it's a war. So I'm ready for the fight. I want the big fights. He doesn't. And that's another big thing. Like, if you really cared about Mexico and the future of Mexican fighting, why not give a Mexican fighter the opportunity so you could pass the torch to him, if anything, just like Chavez did to De La Hoya. Chavez fought De La Hoya, okay, made the best man win, okay, you got it now. Here's the baton, take that, run with it, you represent Mexico now for this generation. Why you don't do that for Surdo? So what you're really doing is hurting Mexico more than helping. So, yep, Canelo, you was right. Your lackluster performance gave a lot got a lot of backlash. It received a lot of bad news, and the walls are closing in, man. No more soft touches. There's no more 40 year old champions out there for you to fight four years later. Now, and and these businesses, these companies, the zone just revealed through ESPN. Dan Raphael revealed that the zone only received 500,000 pay per view buys. You know how much money the zone lost on this third fight with Canelo and Triple G? The fact that it came four years later, they lost a tremendous amount of money. 500 pay per view. It's so bad that, and I've never seen this before ever. You could watch the whole Canelo uh, Triple G third fight on YouTube right now. Like it's 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 on on the tube now. Like they. They want the streaming. They want you to watch this fight badly so they can try to grow some sort of revenue because this thing was bad, devastating. So, yeah, right now he is caught between a rock and a hard place because he has to take the big fights because these companies, even old media is jumping on him about David Benavidez and Surdo in his press conference where he said, you know what? I'm not taking no more questions. I'm mad. I'm leaving. And he, he said he was mad and he stopped the press conference because he was getting questioned too much about Benavidez and Sordo and he didn't like that. But meanwhile, guys like Pacquiao, when, whenever he won a big fight, he knew about Floyd questions were coming and he answered them. When Floyd won, his big fights. He knew them Pacquiao questions were coming and he answered them. But Canelo gets mad and shuts down the interviews. Okay, we know what it is. Canelo, he might be out the door very soon because he sees that the walls are closing in and he's about to get demolished yet again. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.